Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm here with another video, and I decided to do something a little bit different for this video. I have on the screen an article that I'm not going to cover, but I have up as an example of what overall I'm going to be talking about with this video, and that is what I've been witnessing within the fandom over the past several days since Zack Snyder made his announcements last Wednesday that his vision for Justice League, his version of the movie, is going to be released on HBO Max in 2021. Now, on a personal note, anyone who knows me, either on Twitter, other social media, or in my own life, knows that I was an advocate for the release of Snyder Cut movement, now in the Snyder Cut released movement, because it's now officially happening. I saw Joss League back in November of 2017. I also, again, watched it recently because I thought, well, maybe I was a little bit too harsh on it the first time I watched it. Saw it again. Nope. It was just as bad in my own personal opinion. My psyche told me we repressed these memories for a reason, and I moved on. I was elated. I was excited. I was happy last Wednesday among, uh, with my friends who witnessed the announcement. So... Imagine our shock and hurt when those within the fandom, those we thought would at least support the win for the fandom, were saying things like, this is not going to save the DCEU, which is completely, completely missing the point of the movement itself, to things like, it's still going to be shit, to things like... I hope it's one big troll on the fandom, or at least the Snyder Cut movement, and that they release the... Justice League cut on HBO Max and we all have a laugh at their expense when their hopes and dreams and excitement is crushed. Two, let's celebrate a win for mediocrity, pretty much. People we, in the fandom who claim they were pro-fandom or claim they are pro-fandom claim they support us saying these things. Now, I have this up on the screen, like I said, as an example. This is now trending on Twitter. Make Solo 2 happen. Okay, in my personal opinion... I did not like Solo. I thought they made Han Solo a supporting character in his own film. I did not like the actor they chose to play Han Solo because not only did he not look at all like Harrison Ford, but he was way too short and he did not have the mannerisms, mannerisms down at all, in my own personal opinion. Also, I think it would be insane for the studios to make Solo 2, given the fact that the first one, Solo, actually lost money at the box office. But guess what? I'm not going on Twitter and bashing people saying, well, if this happens, it's going to suck anyway. Pretty much. Why? Because if this happens for these fans, I'm going to congratulate them. Because that's what we do in the fandom. We support each other. We don't always have to agree with each other. We don't always have to like everything that everyone else likes. We, in the end, in the end, we are all nerds. That is what's matters. We are all nerds. It doesn't matter if you like Star Wars over Star Trek or Star Trek over Star Wars, DC over Marvel, Marvel over DC, Doctor Who, Orville Nation, Witcher, Tolkien, anything nerd culture, anime. I even recently started getting into the anime series Black Lagoon because people started recommending it to me. Me? I was never into anime. I did not hate anime, but I was never into anime. And guess what? I'm now liking the series. And that is what I loved about the nerd community since I, I don't want to say became a nerd, but I've been a nerd all my life. And that is, if you come in with a healthy curiosity, with a respect for the uh, established canon, the, the storylines, characters, and so forth, and say, well, I don't know a lot about this. Can you uh, teach me? Nerds would welcome you with open arms. It doesn't matter what, you know, your gender, your uh, skin color, or sexual orientation, none of that. They would welcome you with open arms and say, here, let me show you this tome for you to learn. Or, you like this, you'll love this. Pretty much. And to see... Like I said, this ugly side, another ugly side of the fandom, those we thought were supporting the fandom, those who claimed to be pro-fandom, I thought that's what the fandom menace overall was supposed to be about. It wasn't exactly exclusive to Star Wars. It might have started because of Star Wars, but it wasn't exclusive to Star Wars. It was because we wanted to save, essentially, or at least support fandoms to fight against the injection of identity politics and sociopolitical agendas into the lore. Not tear each other to shreds, not, not tear each other down 
because we don't agree with one subset of the fandom. Like, again, another example. Another hashtag was trending on Twitter not too long ago was release of Trevor cut. There's also release of Lucas cut. Granted, I did not see episode 9. I know everything that entails in episode 9. I did not like the, what I heard. I did not like The Last Jedi. But I'm not going... But let's say, for example, that happens. The Trevo cut is released on Disney+. Plus. The Lucas cut is released on Disney+. Plus. Pick one. What I would do is I would say congratulations. Much like with this, Make Solo 2 happen. I would say congratulations. You got what you fought for. I wouldn't say this is still going to be shit anyway or anything like that. So my overall point of this video is I thought we were all pro fandom. At least that's what I thought. I thought that at least, at least if you didn't like the direction, if you, at least if you didn't like the director or, or the vision or anything like that, that you would at least support it as a win for those who fought for the release itself. No matter what it is, no matter if it's Star Trek, what the shit they're dealing with, Doctor Who and the shit they're dealing with, Star Wars, the shit we're still dealing with, DC, Marvel, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Pretty much. We respect each other's opinions, and that's the key thing, respect. And out of that respect is common courtesy. And that is the courtesy to not rain on people's parades who have fought for two to three years for something and now they're finally happy and you just had to inject your negativity. I hate using that word, but that's essentially what it was this past several days. I We expected it from the mainstream media because you know they're going to be saying that stupid shit to get clicks for their articles, but we never in a million years thought it would be from people that we knew saying these things. So, I'm hoping so don't ju you know don't judge me too hard. That's just my own personal opinion. I'm not calling out anyone in particular. I'm just calling out what I saw over the past several days and how much it hurts not only me, but friends of mine, people I'm close to and how it revealed some people for who they truly were. The masks masks were coming off. Again, not calling out names in particular, but that's what I witnessed. But at any rate, let me know down in the comments what you think. Were you excited for the announcement? Were you not excited for the announcement? Are you going to watch it, uh, either out of curiosity or because you were looking forward to it? What part of the nerd community are you truly into? Like I said, at the end of the day, we are all nerds. We debate. We argue. But at the end of the day, we shake hands, we agree to disagree, and we respect each other. And I saw little of that over the past several days. Not from everyone, but there was, a, there was enough that, like I said, it cut deep for some, of, some people. But at any rate, let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, if you like, leave a thumbs up. Share on social media if you uh, will. Um, again, like I said, this was a different video, different take than what I normally do. It's Memorial Day, and I want to say thank you to all who served and are currently serving. All the military vets, I salute your service, and I appreciate all that you do. And catch me on either a uh, live stream or another video in the future. This is Mara Jade. Thank you all for helping me reach monetization, and I'll catch you all. I would normally say on the dark side, but I'll say this, actually. United we stand. Take care.